Mopar fam. We're over here in Kentucky again. We're at Mo Party. It's Sunday morning. We're about to run the first pass, and this is elimination day. It's single elimination, so if you lose one, you're out for the day, and you're done. We're running the 12-0 flat class. So yesterday we ran a mix of 11 nines and 12-0 passes. So I think we're gonna be pretty good in the 12-0 class. Um, also, you know, just in case, I'm gonna, I got the nitrous filled, we haven't used it at all. But I'm gonna turn the bottle on. Nitrous will be ready to go in case I'm late on the tree or I have some spin or something to hopefully that will make up the difference and then shut it down as soon as we catch back up. Um, so basically how this works, I may be running a faster car, but what'll happen, they'll let me out first and then he has to chase me down. Um, vice versa, if I'm faster, I'll have to chase them down. So the, basically the goal is you're pretty much, you have to win the race, but you can't go faster than your class. And, you know, if you go too fast, you're, you're out. And then the other thing is, um, so you're pretty much trying to win by like a fender. That's it, but not go too fast. So here we go. Wish me luck. We're racing an older Ram truck, regular cab. Should be a good one. tree all weekend and I, I actually red lit I think God you gotta be kidding me fuck trying to run and I freaking red lit. I red lit oh Ugh. on the first freaking race. Damn that hurts my feelings so bad. Ugh. Oh my god that sucks. 
sucks. I've been late, so late on that pro tree all weekend, guys. I've been running like .400s and .500s because I'm not used to a pro tree. And I was anticipating that one so much and freaking red lit. Damn. Not by much either. I'm talking like I had to have just barely red lit. Oh, but we made a good damn pass. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. We'll do it again. Got to get some uh, seat time on a pro tree. That's for sure. Um, definitely sucks because we were racing a much slower truck on top of that. So definitely could have been an easy win. All we had to do is probably hit the tree right. And that was it, man. But the number was right on the money. I mean... 12011 yeah i mean that's that's hard to try to beat that so it is what it is all right guys so here is the pass where i was completely stupid and red lit because i just wasn't thinking um we're in the right lane we ran we ran the exact number that we wanted to run guys um and that probably honestly will probably be the best 12 second pass i bet anybody even sees out here i mean that is 12011 i mean that would have been hard as hell to beat um but not gonna lie this is the second time i have ever in my life ran any sort of a bracket race where you're just not running on like a heads up tree i'm used to a heads up tree um when i see green i go you know see yellow i go actually but anyway um you get the idea so we were racing a slower truck he was dialed in to run 15th and what happened is he launched and I followed right behind him. I was not even thinking about the fact my tree was coming three seconds later. So I should have still been sitting at the line after he took off for almost three seconds, guys. Um, and just just stupid ass, basically, was what I was being. Um, wasn't thinking. It's the second time I've done this uh, kind of race event where you're doing like a bracket dilly like this and it's just brand new to me. So it's a learning experience. Um, I'm probably definitely going to try to get into a little bit of bracket racing back home so I can get used to the pro trees and get used to this, um, you know, funky sit here and wait forever game. Anywho, we ran some awesome numbers here today. We broke into the 11s on just the supercharger on 93 pump gas. So I'm super stoked. It was a hell of a good weekend. Definitely worth it. Um, you definitely have to go check out Mo Party when they come back and do it again next time. Um, but this track up here in Bowling Green is absolutely awesome. Dead hook traction every single time. Never even spun the tires once or chirped the tires. We had amazing track prep, amazing track personnel and crew up here. Just absolutely awesome. Um, other than that, I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna go continue to kick my own ass for red lighting. And uh, yeah, but Frostbite's running good, no issues. So I think we're going to load up, call today. Other than that, guys, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell button for the notifications, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.